Hey, my name is Anas, and I will teach you how to make an HDR from a single photo. Here we have a photo taken on my vacation to Iceland. It looked kind of flat, so we want to pep it off a little bit. Otherwise, or as I said, we will make an HDR, but an HDR re require a lot of different images, so what we do is we make different images from one images, and we can do that in Photoshop CS4. You go to Image, Adjustments, and then go down to Exposure. I'll set my random exposure to 2, and click OK. Now we have an oversaturated image, exposed in Overexposed image, sorry, and then we go to save it as an image, yeah, and we save it like that. And I just make it P for plus, it doesn't matter what, what you name it, just so you can re remember what image is what. Go to exposure again, we go back into history, and then we type minus two so the image gets more dark. Then we save it again. Name it M for minus. Now we have our three images. Close that down, and now you go to Luminance HDR. Link is in the description. It's a completely free software that lets you create HDR images. Okay. You should have this open when you just open the program and you go to new HDR image and you just click next. Now it wants you to select your images that you want to use. We do that and we find the free images here. We click open. Now it's it has already set a custom exposure, but we will just make it simple delete that, just type in zero. This is underexposed so it will be uh, minus two and this was the overexposed image so that will be two. Now you can see here the, ex the exposure is set over here and you can choose to auto align the images but uh, that will take some time but uh, since this image is the same on all three we will just click, click next and do nothing here but because here you can move the images along each other so they fit together click next and you go fine with these um, basic settings just click finish now it's processing the image to an HDR my computer is rather slow so it may take a while but but here it is and you can see it looks kind of flat you're not expecting uh, I guess you were expecting like um, HDR as you've seen and those nice images on, on the web but this is a raw HDR and over here and over here that's where the HDR magic comes in you see we have a variety of settings that we can use to make a great HDR image. I'll just click normal size, okay not so normal, but and we'll just select this Mantuag 06. Let it work. There you see it has a much uh, higher range of detail in all the stuff compared to the other image. Oh I just uh, <laughs> You see here, you see here, there's a lot of difference. This is much higher detail. But if you think, oh, this looks kind of dull, it has no colors, that's where you can change this to. I, I would not suggest that you change these too so much, but you can change this up to, let, let's say, one about 60 there. Click, oh, and, and here is your. This is just a preview of what it seems like, but the, you can change over here how big you want your result to be, and then you can export it. But um, 
we just turn map the image and there you have it much more color depth it's a really nice photo and I um, I really really like this program so I would suggest that you also use it and uh, now we have we may have a final HDR you can also choose to uh, make this com uh, process I I often use these two only because the, the, the other ones looks kinda silly but um, this takes longer time to compute so um, yeah it depends on what image you got because the, this is where the it, it varies in, in light as you see it's it looks very funny but uh, I will I would just go with this uh, Mantia yeah come on good uh, now we have our image I could make it larger but then I will have to wait a little longer so I could when I've done I think I'm done because it's really nice I go to save and you just save your your image don't mind the uh, naked man um, I already have the, the image but this is just a test so I just type in test and click save and this is the quality when you can adjust the quality of the image and just click save and there you have it a nice HDR image they can show your friends